Hello all, this is a demonstration video for an app called Construction Calc Pro. Um, the calculator of this app is actually a free version called Construction Calc Free and this is the full paid version. Um, it's a large app so we're just going to cover the material estimators today and we're going to make other videos for the other modules. Um, this is going to help us demonstrate this app as well as be a tutorial for people that own the app to learn how to use it. Okay, so let's first go into the drywall estimator. When you go in here you have quite a few options, um, but it is rather simple. The first thing you're going to do is put in your area size that you're working with. So right now we have a 100 foot linear length of wall and a 8 foot high ceiling to give us uh, 800 square feet. Um, as you adjust these, so as we'll see, we'll go put nine feet in there. The area will auto adjust, and if you put in an area, which you can also do, the length and height will auto adjust just to make a square, but it'll give you an idea. So for now, let's go back to what we had. We'll go with the length of 100 feet and a height of eight feet to keep it simple. Um, another way, there's different ways to enter the values in Construction Calc Pro. You can either enter them as we are here with a virtual keyboard and then put in your unit by clicking on the unit. Or you can click the calculator, which will bring up the calculator and you can type in anything you want here. So we'll put it in 120 feet and then just hit the off button on the calculator and it will go into there. Probably the easier easier way to do it. So once we have an area, we'll scroll down to our settings and we'll, we can set a board width and a board height. So we'll use a 4x8 sheet for today. Um, board cost, so this is the cost per sheet, so we'll leave that at $13 for now. And this is your waste percentage that you are, you're going to want your estimate this amount over so you don't run out of drywall. Um, there's also provisions for other materials, so you can put your mud in here. This is the amount of mud you're going to use per number of boards. So depending on how you buy your mud, say you're buying it by the box, if you find that you use a box of mud for every 100 boards, that's what you would put in here. 100 boards and that'll calculate it as per that. And then mud cost, same thing, you'll put your cost per box if that's what you're using in here. Uh, tape is the same thing, how much tape you're going to need per number of boards. So 100 boards, use one tape, that's what you put in. Um, and then screws is kind of the opposite way. You put in the number of screws per board that you're going to use and the cost of your of 100 screws. Once you have all these settings in, oh, and the lock button is one other thing. If the lock button is off, you can change these units independently. So you could put um, foot in for one and then, and then inch in for height. And if you put the lock button on, when you change one of these, they will all change together. So that uh, covers that. You also have a help button here to um, get in-app help, which is pretty handy. Back button will take you back, of course, and then when you hit the calc button, it'll bring up your results. So with the numbers we have in, it's adjusting uh, 34 boards at a cost of $442, uh, one mud at a cost of 20 bucks, one tape at a cost of five dollars, and uh, we're going to need a thousand twenty screws at a cost of one hundred two dollars. Gives you your total cost. Now, what you can do at this point is you can either hit email results, and all these results will go into an email. You can email yourself to save um, to save it, or you can email it to a supplier, to someone in the field, to a man back in the office, whatever. Um, at this point, you can also add the results to the estimate sheet. So we'll do that right now, just so I can show you that. So as you do, as you work with all your different material estimators, when you add them to the estimate sheet, then you can click here on the estimate sheet, and it will keep track of all the uh, uh, material estimates, individual material estimates that you did. Plus, it'll, get, uh, it'll keep a total, um, and you can email this estimate sheet to yourself, to a supplier, whatever you like. Uh, within here, you can also delete uh, individuals. You can delete everything and you can go back. So that about covers this. Um, the tile module is very similar. Um, concrete module gives you provisions for doing stairs, perimeters, slabs, uh, sauna tubes, 
everything you can think of and it'll give you results in bags of concrete, cubic yards, cubic feet, cubic meters. Um, there's a lumber one, paint one, block one. You name it, it's on here for material estimation. Um, we're going to do other videos to cover the other stuff, but just uh, just so you can see it here, we do have conversions on here. Uh, and then we also have geometry calculations for triangles. We have uh, arcs and circles for calculating arcs and circles. We have um, areas for, for um, getting areas, obviously. This comes in handy if you're, say, tiling a, a, a circular area. You can come in here and you can get your, your area of the circle and then go back into the tile estimator and use that area in the tile estimator. Um, another interesting function just before I end up here is you can put, you have 10 different memory locations in your calculator here and you can, so you can put 78 feet say into the calculator memory and then when you're over in one of your modules and you hit in here you can go to your keyboard and you can recall the memories from your calculators with the, uh, with the, with the letter buttons so that's also a very very handy option and that's about it for today so hopefully you enjoy the app and give us a good review if there is something a problem you find or something you don't like then please shoot us an email and we'll try our best to fix it all right, that's it. Bye-bye.